what? It's just a, so scary. In the Philippines, it's, it's really exciting to be here. Um, so this is a, a, an interesting place because they actually have a nuclear plant that they built and our friend Mark brought us down to give a talk and we're releasing an open letter signed by all of these world famous climate scientists, James Hansen, uh, Pulitzer Prize winner Richard Rhodes, great historians, urging the president to take a second look at nuclear and uh, use nuclear as a way to get off of fossil fuels and develop the country. In the Philippines just spends a lot more money on electricity than almost every other country, even more than Singapore, which is already a very wealthy country. There's really no debate about this. This is a, a graph showing that the more electricity you use, the fewer people live in poverty. Electricity prices in the Philippines are three times higher than the cost of electricity in South Korea. I spent some time in South Korea. South, why is, South Korea also doesn't have its own energy. Why does it spend one third as much on electricity as the Philippines? Because they have nuclear power. So this amount of uranium can provide all the energy for a rich American's life, you know? For a Filipino, that much. The so Philippines is an Asian country that hasn't yet taken off. So it's seen a lot of its neighbors, Taiwan, South Korea, obviously Japan, become very rich nations using a lot of nuclear energy and increasing the amount of energy they consume. It, like Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, all have a lot of potential to grow, but if they're gonna do so in a way that uh, doesn't make their cities even more polluted, they're gonna need a lot of nuclear energy. The reason that nuclear is the safest is because it doesn't produce air pollution. There's nothing that burns. It's a way for Philippines to decide to become an advanced country. There's a lot of fears that people have, but when you look at the science, nuclear is the cleanest, safest, and cheapest way to make electricity. Nuclear has actually saved 1.8 million lives. It's a kind of a, a, sh a shocking finding. Because if you have a nuclear plant, then you don't need to burn coal. And if you're not burning coal, you're not producing the, the deadly air pollution. On hot copy this morning, the Philippine House of Representatives has just passed a bill providing a framework for the use and regulation of nuclear energy. This is big for the Philippines since the lobby for this has been going on for years. Most people don't know anything about nuclear, and so they believe all the superstitions and the mythology, right, um, which keeps you trapped on, in this uh, fossil fuel economy. To make a bomb, you have to, you have to turn the uranium in the reactors to much higher levels of enrichment. The uranium in a bomb is enriched to get 95% enrichment. The fuel in a nuclear plant is enriched to just 5%. As my friend here in the Philippines says, it's like the difference between whiskey and beer. What's in a nuclear power plant is more like beer, and a nuclear bomb is more like whiskey. It's just a much more intense version of that uranium fuel. And so we don't allow nuclear power plants to enrich uranium to those high levels anymore. Well, so in terms of protecting the natural environment, one of the most important things is that nuclear plants require very small amounts of land, kind of like a couple of football fields. You can produce enough power for two million, three million, four million people. To generate that same amount of energy from solar, you have to cover an area over 125 times larger. And in the Philippines, land is scarce. You don't have a lot of land. It's not illegal to put solar panels on your roofs in the Philippines. The first plan to power the world on solar, wind, and water was written in 1833. If it's so viable, if it's so ready to happen, how come it's not happening anywhere? And in the places that try the hardest, why do they spend twice as much for electricity to get less than half as much from clean energy sources? But the great thing about nuclear waste is that there's so little of it, and therefore it's easy to store. You can see that all of the waste ever produced in the United States over the last 60 years can fit on a single football field stacked 50 feet high. As an environmentalist, 
Nuclear waste is my favorite kind of waste because it never enters the atmosphere as air pollution or it never enters the oceans. So, so it seems like here in the Philippines, people are not that surprised when we show them the data that nuclear is really not that scary, not that dangerous. But what everybody wants to know is how are you going to convince the other people, That's right? That's right, because uh, if there's a lot of, we'll just go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of thinking how are you going to change everybody's mind, right? Exactly. Rather than how are so, we going to do it? Yeah. I think we need to work on the the media. Right. Well, Marcos built highways, so don't drive on the highways. You know, Marcos built hospitals, so we don't go to the hospitals. It's just a tool. Nuclear is just a technology, like any technology. It can be you can use it for good things or bad things. So I think we need to grow up a little bit. You know, we act like kids. Oh, this technology belongs to those people. This that's just, come on. In our country, the importance of uh, energy, of power, in uh, the economic development is not uh, given that much recognition. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? I don't care where I tap or source my power. My concern is to provide the power. If you can tell me where help is, I will cable it. We don't want to wait for that time that you will all be crying for power. Like what? Like oatmeal or something. They call this aho. Excellent. I feel like Anthony Bourdain. I'm there. They're good. There's going to be a Q&A. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk. So there is slides. Yeah, I, I gave you television. Okay. So mayor is not coming. Yes. Even to her office. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Congressman called the mayor not to attend, and the Catholic Church has been disseminating not to attend. The church has been, hey, don't go, don't go. Why don't we go talk to the, the church? Let's go talk to the priest. Nandiyan si Father? Hi. Good morning. We're just here for a third visit. Okay. Hi, Father Michael Schellenberger. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he's yeah. my guest. Hi, Madison Zerwinski. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. I, I want to come, and then, but I'm only secondary as the as the parish priest of the town because geographically is under my protection, but ecclesiastically uh, it is it is under. Okay. So, yeah. a for photo? Purpose? For, for me? For my Facebook page, okay? Oh, actually... No? Not, not yet. Okay. okay. Not yet. Because uh, it has something to do with the, 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 the issue without okay. the permission of the bishop. Okay. okay. So I hope you understand. Of course, it's fine. Okay. Thank you for seeing okay. us. Thank you for... Like a lot of bureaucracy and around and Yeah, around yeah. Three letters in triplicate. So no mayor, no priests. Well, let's go talk to people. Yeah, let's go talk to people, figure out what's going on. He's pro. Why? So that there'll be jobs. Uh-huh. Why not? Do you know? Did you know that there's a nuclear power plant here? Yes. What do you think of it? Do you, is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Some people say it's dangerous. Do you think it's dangerous? Yes. yes. But you still like it. <laughs> if it's so, if it's so, if it's so, if it's so dangerous, why do you like it? If it's if it's in the right place, right way of using it. if it's in the right way of using it, okay. Hi, hi, I'm Michael. Hello, yes, nice to meet you. Hey, hey, hi. Sorry, I'm Athena Imperial. Nice I'm from to meet Jim, you. Jimmy News. Oh, you are cool. Yeah, yeah. That's my card. Thanks I'd for like coming. To know more about. Yeah, me. yeah. Oh, we'll spend some time together. Thank you. Good, good. Michael. Nice to meet you. There hey are 450 nuclear plants 
around the world like Bataan. Merong apat na raang limang pung nuclear plants na umaanda sa kabuuan ng mundo na kagulat. My data is from the World Health Organization, the United Nations, and the British medical journal Lancet. The Greenpeace data is from a crazy Russian scientist, like literally, like a like one crazy doctor in Ukraine. An hour in the plant, and then we come back here after the plant for three, and then we go home, or we go to Manila. We're going to go inside the bowels of the plants. that these are not hollow black wall, these are solid, uh, really thick concrete walls you know, that are earthquake proof. Uh, you see for yourself. This containment leaks. All the air here is sucked into a filter system before being exhausted into the atmosphere. Meaning, even if there's a leak here, nothing gets out. So there's a concrete wall, there's the steel containment, and now here, look at this. You see this? That's, I, I, I challenge you to find a welding as nice as that anywhere in the Philippines. So there's steel, and then outside there's concrete. So this is the big difference between this and Chernobyl. Chernobyl had no containment. It was a reactor in a warehouse. And when it failed, it all escaped into the environment. This keeps it all in. So even if we have a meltdown, we have containment. This is not present at Chernobyl. without that bracket. That's what makes a nuclear plant expensive. All of these extra little things that it won't move a single bit even during the worst earthquake. Ah, the control room. The place looked pristine, you know, it's cut some, some paint, but otherwise, things in great shape. Fears that uh, are unfounded, uh, I think uh, he had them before, and uh, his experience uh, showed people here that they're not unique, that it's happened to people in other countries, and that they've overcome these fears, and they've seen the, the, the rationale behind nuclear and why it's so good uh, for the environment and for the economy. Once the people of the Philippines decide to reopen Bataan, once it's up and running, I think everybody's nerves will calm down a lot. So the big challenging part is right now, getting everybody on board. The big challenging part is right now, getting everybody on board. 